Hi, everybody, and welcome to Six Minute Saturday. I'm Tina Powell of C-Suite Social Media, here to bring you great marketing tips and tactics to help you grow your business in six minutes or more. Today's broadcast is episode 21, What is a Brand? This video will help you change the way that you think about your brand and will give you my number one best tip for building your brand. So let me share my screen, bear with me for just a second. I'm trying to do this a lot quicker. I know that this kind of the switching uh, from this view to the presentation view takes me a little bit longer than it should. So just give me a, a, a second here. Uh, let's get the timer on. How is everybody's week? Good, I had a great week. Um, Upstairs, there is that homemade ragu from the trip to Italy that I talked about. Fantastic recipe. If you want it, you can email me, Tina, at csuitesocialmedia.com, and I'd be happy to give you the recipe. So um, with that, let me first switch the screen, and then we will um, set the timer. Okay, how does that sound? That sounds great, right? Okay, fantastic. Six-minute timer is starting what is a brand? Again, I think it's really important that our definition of what is a brand evolves. Hence, today's episode about what is a brand. Because I think that our understanding or how we were traditionally thought about building a brand is much different than it is today, especially with the advent of digital media, social media, and what marketing looks like today. So here are a couple of great brand definitions to start with. And, a, and this one from the American uh, Marketing Association that is very traditional, uh, this is probably the definition that you most, um, uh, when, when people think about brand, that they go to this type of um, brand uh, understanding. A name, term, design, symbol, or any other feature that identifies one seller's good or, dis or service as distinct from those of other sellers. And that part of that definition is absolutely correct. And if you think about, if you go back to the olden days, the need for branding was to differentiate products so that if you went into the local market that this product was different than others and so that you can identify. And so that's why we needed to come up with different symbols and packaging and all of those structural design elements. So now let's look at brand as, as how it has evolved today. And I love this definition. Um, and this is from the book, The End of Marketing as We Know It. That's supposed to be in italics. It is a published book um, by Sergio uh, Zyman. And I um, absolutely recommend that you get it. A brand is essentially a containers, I love this, a container for a cost customer's complete experience with the product or company. Um, I get, I love that because it's more lifestyle oriented and how we think of brands and what brands are today. So uh, if we go for that uh, explanation of what is it in a brand, let's, um, as that container, and get that kind of container in your mind right now and get that visual. I should have put this in a container actually now that I'm looking at the slide. There are a lot of things that fit into this container and I'll just go through a couple of them that are on the screen right now, but understand that this is only a partial part of the container that we're looking at. So we talked about that logo. Let's talk about your website. That's absolutely in a component of your brand. So are the perceptions about what people think about you. What do people say? This is also a really good definition of a brand. It's the one that I think about in my mind. What do people say about you, your product, your firm, your service when you're not in the room? It's about perceptions. There's a big part of the, of the component here. Client experience also too, a very integral part of your brand. And again, it goes back to that concept about what people are thinking about you and what people are saying about you what they're, when they're not in the room. Um, origin story is really starting to become a big part of branding as we see a lot of these micro brands, you know, rise in the top. Uh, we see this with food a lot too. Um, you know, small brands being um, taken over by, by uh, big brands. It reminds me of one of, I forgot the name of the ice cream, but you, you know, uh, Unilever bought that. They also bought Dollar Shave Club. Um, your research, your services, your equity, all of these things, that goes into the concept of branding as well. So the important thing is not to confuse 
branding with brand elements. If we look at brand elements, uh, these are, again, those physical structures. Uh, in this case, I'm using Amazon as a perfect example. You've got the logo here. You've got the, the tagline here, packaging. And this is a, an example of um, visual, a piece of visual identity. Again, goes back to those branding um, elements. So don't consume, don't confuse branding elements with the, the branding itself. So performing a brand inventory is one of the first steps of building a strong brand. And building a strong brand, yes, comes under the umbrella of marketing, but everybody, everyone in your firm, even your suppliers and your supply chain, everyone on that supply chain and customer journey is responsible for helping you to build a strong brand. So again, the purpose of this video is to get you thinking a little bit differently, hopefully to enlarge this, uh, think of your brand, uh, your firm's brand, even your personal brand of a container. And so how do you build that? Um, well, part of it evolves organically, and that's why we need to pay attention to everything that we're doing and saying and all of that uh, client experience. But also too, I thought that it would really be helpful for you to understand how marketing approaches the challenge of building strong brands, which is what we do here at C-Suite Social Media. Yes, that was a shameless plug. Okay, so what we do is how we help clients build strong brands, and here is where we start. We must start with, an, with a current understanding of what the brand looks like today. Because marketing's role in helping to build a stronger brand and appeal to your client market and get your word out, we need to understand what you're saying and what you're doing right now. So again, that container, here are some of the components of what we do when we perform a brand inventory for our clients. We start with a lot of those physical structures that we talked about in the beginning. Again, it goes back to the traditional way that we think about brand. So logos, styles and guidelines, you might have a, a, a um, styles and guidelines are specific, spell out specifically how your logo and communications should look online and how, sh how it should be used. Um, your colors, your branding colors, all of that. Uh, they pretty much define your print collateral and what things look like on, online. Um, Facebook has an in-depth, um, I think that's a really great example of like styles and guidelines if you're curious, if you want to dig a little deeper. Thought leadership, your website, your social media channels. I thought it too, we went back to the example of Amazon that has a Twitter account, that has a Facebook account. By the way, we're after six minutes, so if you want to leave, no problem. This is uh, the, 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 main, the main crux here, so you can always come back to it. Communication channels, messages, even an understanding of what your competitor, what that competitive landscape looks like. Uh, most importantly, the points of parity and the points of differentiation, how you are the same within your industry and how you're different from your competitors and your target market. This again is just a partial view of what a brand inventory would look like. But again, remember what we're talking about here, how to build strong brands. In order for you to do that, you need to have an understanding of your current brand. Go backwards uh, uh, again. How do you have a? Uh, how do you know what it's like? Um, what your current brand looks like? You can look at it through the lens of a brand inventory, and even part of that brand inventory might uh, include a focus group of your best clients. So I hope that this has been helpful. If you want to get on our mailing list, just text the word Tina to four 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 nine nine nine, and uh, you can always reach out to me, Tina at C Suite Social Media. So I hope that this has been helpful. And again, think about your brand as an entire collection uh, and more container-like than just the structural um, elements. Everybody have a great Saturday and a happy weekend. Thanks again for watching and tuning in. I look forward to uh, talking to you next week, episode 22 next week. Great. Everybody have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much.